They say a picture is worth a thousand words. So picture this. When it comes to meeting the needs of both corporate and private customers, only two words matter. Reliable carriers. As North America's largest specialized automotive transporters, we can move a fleet of vehicles to a show and send a one-off to a concourse. And that's worth more than we can say. Reliable carriers. Vehicles taken seriously. RM Sotheby's is proud to recognize Reliable Carriers as our official vehicle transport partner. Reliable Carriers is North America's largest specialized automotive transport company serving 48 states and Canada. Please visit the Reliable representatives on site to discuss your transportation needs. RM Sotheby's acknowledges their partnership with leading insurance provider AIG. The partnership sees the two companies collaborate to offer market-leading specialty insurance products specifically offered via the AIG private client group together with Grundy Insurance. A brief note of our conditions of business. All sales are as is and where is. Final bid does not include buyer's premium and any applicable taxes. Please note that the buyer's premium for this sale is 12% on all motor car lots with a final hammer price of $250,000 or less. In the event of a final hammer price above $250,000 on motor car lots, a buyer's premium of 12% will be paid on the first $250,000 and a buyer's premium of 10% will apply to the hammer price above $250,000. 20% for all non-motor car lots. Payment for all lots must be arranged before 5 p.m. local time on Monday, the 11th of December. Please note, as all vehicles must be removed from the venue immediately following the sale, a removal fee of $750 per vehicle will be applied. All vehicles will be transported to Reliable Carrier Storage Facility in Fairfield, New Jersey, where onward shipping can be arranged. It is the buyer's responsibility to ensure their purchase lot whilst in storage. Please speak to an RM Sotheby's team member in the auction settlement office should you have any questions <laughs> at all. And finally, please note that sale room notices and addenda read ahead of any applicable lot this evening supersede the catalog descriptions. My name is Will Smith, and on the podium tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is our auctioneer, Mr. Sholto Gilbertson. And without further ado, we shall begin proceedings with lot number one. Lot number one is Mobile by Andy Warhol. Signed by Andy Warhol in pencil, it is number seven out of ten artists' proof in Roman numerals. It was executed in 1985 and it measures 38 inches by 38 inches, a highly desirable piece, ladies and gentlemen, selling here in the very city that was the epicenter of Warhol's career. Lot number one, Sholto. Well, thank you very much, Will, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all attending our sale here at uh, Sotheby's in New York. It's uh, we, a warm welcome to each of you, and thank you for your support and uh, all of your efforts and energy throughout the year. We do all appreciate it. So, of course, the first lot is the Andy Warhol, uh, explained there by Will. We do have telephones coming in, telephone desks looking nice and busy. So where should we start? $20,000? $20,000 for the... $20,000 for the page. 20000 20000 anywhere. Try 10. 
Try 10, ladies and gentlemen. Try 10. Thank you. Tommy P, 10,000. Any more bids at 10,000? 10,000 only. Selling. No reserve. Selling all the way. 12, 5. Against you, Tom. 15. I see you at the backside. Will come for you. 15, I have. Against you now. Against you now. 15. 17, 5. 17, 5. 17, 5. Tommy. Sorry, 20. Thank you, Steph. 20. That's more like it. Stephanie Jacqueline there at 20. 25,000 I've taken in the back. I do see it is a dark room at 25,000. Any more bids now? 25. Standing at the back at 25,000. 27.5. Against you now, sir. Try 30, sir. Try 30, sir. We have 27.5. Try 30, sir. 30,000. Thank you. I do see you coming in as well. At 30, I have. At $30,000 here in New York, at $30,000. Any more bids now? At $30,000. 325. 32.5. I have seated down here against you at the back. 35,000. Telephones now against you now, sir. At 35,000. Fair warning now. At 35,000. Try, th try 37.5, sir. 37.5 would be next, sir. 37.5 would be next, sir. 37.5. 37.5. At $37,500. At $37,500. Uh, currency converter, can we just update there? We're at 37.5. Thank you. 30, 40 would be next. At 37.5. At 37.5. Same cut. 40. Thank you. At 40,000. At 40,000. We're down to the last two here. At 40,000. Well, are you coming in, sir? I'm going to have to speed you along. At 40,000. Last chance to you now. At 40,000. Fair warning. Gavel's falling. At 40,000. Sold. 40,000. 6403. Lot number two is the 1974 Porsche 911. Carrera 2.7 MFI. Exceptionally rare, ladies and gentlemen. MFI specification believed to be one of a handful finished in golf blue. Finished in its factory correct golf blue over midnight leatherette sports seats with Shetland tweed inlays. It retains its matching numbers. 2.7 litre mechanically fuel injected flat six engine and treated in 2022 to over $24,000 in work by Mark Experts, Luftec Motorsport of Vancouver, British Columbia, including a full rebuild of the suspension and braking systems. Extremely well-documented example, this, accompanied by a copy of its Italian libretto, registration booklet, service invoices, a copy of the original vehicle order form, Porsche Certificate of Authenticity, and Porsche Production Specifications Report. It is lot number two. Thank you, Will. Well, it does look beautiful in that gulf blue, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And, well, it's no reserve. Telephone's coming in. You tell me. $150,000? Was that bid? Thank you, Greg. At $150,000. Maiden bid I have on the internet now. One eighty I have. One hundred and eighty I have. Two hundred would be next. We're at one eighty. Sir. Where's the bid? I can't see. I have one eighty. Thank you, sir. Two hundred. Two of you in the room. Two hundred. Two twenty. Two twenty. Two fifty. 280. 280 here against you, sir. 300 would be next. 300,000. Thank you now. 300. 320, sir. 310. Why not? 310. 310. Same courtesy for you, sir. 320 would be next for you, sir. Same courtesy. Try 320, sir. Try 320. You are going to miss it, sir. We have 310. You're going to say no. Well, you're absolutely sure. At 310,000, live here in the room at 310,000. Any more bids? At 310. Telephones, you in or you out? You're all still seated there. Michael, you're still up, but we have 310. You sure now, sir? You are going to miss it. At 310,000, fair warning to the telephones. Are we sure? At 310,000. 315. Don't shake your head, sir. I'm just doing my job. At 320 would be next. 315, our same courtesy. 320. 317.5. Fair enough. 317.5. Against the internet. If they're going to be small, they've got to be quick. At 317.5. At 317.5. 320. 
320, sir. You sure? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your bidding at $320,000. I have. Fair warning, you're absolutely sure, sir. You're going to miss it. A 320. Sold. 320. Internet bidder. Thank you. Lot number three is the 2002 Ferrari 575M Maranello. One of Ferrari's greatest modern Grand Tourers. Ultra desirable six speed manual example from the model's first year of production. Believed to be one of approximately 177 left hand drive examples built between 2002 and 2005 with the manual six speed gearbox. Finished in the timeless color combination of Rosso Corsa over tan leather, it shows fewer than 8,000 miles at the time of cataloging and a stellar mechanical example with elegant pin inferina design that has only got better with age. Ladies and gentlemen, it's lot number three, the 2002 Ferrari 575M Maranello. Thank you very much. And uh, well, the first Ferrari of today's sale. And what should we say? What should we say? $150,000 for us? $150,000 anywhere? 150. Thank you. Straight in. Thank you, sir. 150 I have. At 150. 180 now. Far left. Against you now, sir. Over on my left. 180. Against you. Try 200, sir. 200. Internet now. 200 against you. Against you. New bidder. Two, 210 I have. At 210. Any more now? Any more bids? At 210. 220. 220, 220 now, sir. 220 live here at 220. Two, 220 I have, sir. At 220, I've got you, sir. I have you at 220. Oh, I've got you at 230. At 230, 240, 240,000. 250. Thank you, gentlemen at the back. It is dark at the back there. Can't struggling to see you at 250,000. 260,000. 260. Any more bids now at 260,000? 270. 270. Internet against you now. 280. Try 280, sir. 280. At 280. Against the internet with you at $280,000 here in New York at 280,000. Any more bids at $280,000 at 280? 280. Any more bids now? At 200, 290 I've taken now. At 290. Thank you. At 290. Against you now. At 300 I have. 300. Would you like 310? You're saying no. You sure? Try 310, sir. Try 310. He's saying no. At 300 now. You sure? You're going to miss it. At 300,000. Here in the room. At 300,000. Fair warning now. At 300,000 dollars. Are you sure, Internet? You in or you out? At 300,000, I have 300,000. Thank you, sir. Uh, your number, sir. 300,000, 6056. Well done. Congratulations. And we move on, ladies and gentlemen, to lot number four, which is the 2008 Ducati Desmo Sedici D16RR, number 626 of just 1,500 examples built. Nearly new condition, ladies and gentlemen, and with only nine <laughs> miles at the time of cataloging. Numbers matching engine and chassis. A genuine superbike of its era with remarkably advanced specifications. Excellent, well-preserved, original condition. A true superbike of this era and utterly pristine in like new condition, ladies and gentlemen. It is lot number four. Thank you very much. And well, comes from a good home as well, actually, this Ducati. And thank you for your consignment. And where should we start? No reserve. Telephone's coming in. 20. Thank you, Greg. You can come again. At $20,000. Maiden bid. Tw 25,000 I have. At 25,000. Any more bids now? 25. 30,000. 30, 35,000. At 35,000, selling all the way. 40,000. Try 45, sir. Try 45, sir. I have 40. I have 40. Selling. Make no mistake. We're at 40. At 40,000. Any more bids now? 40,000. Fair warning to you. At 40,000. Was that a bid, Steph? 42. All online. 42,000. At 42,000. 45 would be next. We're at 40. 
45,000. 48 would be next. We have 45. Fair warning now at 45,000. It's all online. Any more bids at 45,000? At 45. We are selling the motorcycle now at 45,000. Steph, you're coming in. 48,000. At 48,000. At 48,000 now. 50,000. 50,000. 50,000. At 50,000. At 50,000. Any more bids? At 50,000. Selling, it's no reserve. At 50,000. Fair warning now. At 50,000 pounds. Selling all the way. Sold. 50,000. Internet bid, thank you. Lot number five is the 1994 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6. Among the rarest air-cooled 911 turbos, ladies and gentlemen, with fewer than 1,500 examples built. Exceptionally preserved example, displaying less than 6,300 miles at the time of cataloging. Presented in guards red over cashmere leather, it's factory optioned with electric sliding sunroof, supple leather seats, and remote CD changer. It's accompanied by a Porsche certificate of authenticity copy of its original window sticker, owner's manuals, and tools. It is lot number five, the 1994 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6. Well, incredible mileage, isn't it? Look at this wonderful, since 1994, only 6,300 miles. It really is incredible. And what shall we say? Great successes in Porsche recently. The market for Porsche is strong, as we saw at the White Collection. And, well... Interest coming in with me at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. At two hundred and fifty thousand. Any more bids at two hundred and fifty thousand? Three hundred. Thank you. Three hundred. I have at three hundred thousand. At three hundred thousand dollars. Internet bid at three hundred thousand. Any more bids now? At three hundred thousand. Three. Thank you, young man. Three hundred and twenty thousand. I have. Was that three twenty-five that was coming in? At three hundred twenty thousand, sir. Three hundred and fifty against you, young man. At 350,000. Any more bids at 350? Why not? 360. Thank you, sir. 360. Is that a bid coming in? 380. At 380. Round it up to 400, young man. Try 400. We can't take a five at this level. We'll take 390 for you, sir. Yeah? Thank you, sir. 390. 400 I have. There's four of you on it at 400 against the young man here. Can we have a business card for the next future client over here? At 400,000. Any more bids at $400,000? Try 410, sir. Look at me, sir. Don't look at your father. <laughs> Try 410, sir. Try 410 I have now at 410. At 410,000. Any more bids at 410,000? Where's the bid? 425 I've taken behind you, Gord. At 425 in the room, seated. At 425. At 450,000 now. At 450,000. With you, Gord. At 450,000. Are you coming back, sir? Are you sure now? At 450,000. Any more Bids at 450,000. It's on the telephone. Where, is, where are you at the back there, sir? You out? You sure? Try 475. You're absolutely sure. We have 450. 460 online. 460 online bid now at 460. Against you, Gord, at 480,000. He's come back at 480,000 against the internet bid. 500 will be next online. We're at 480. We're at 480. 500 would be next. The online bidder, wherever you may be, we're at 480. Any more bids online? Are you coming in? Try, the f try 490 for the online bidder, Greg. Try 490 for the online bidder. Well, we're at 480. Any more bids at 480 online? Internet bid, wherever you may be. We can try 490, but we're at 480. Last chance to you all at 400. 
and 80,000. Are we in? Are we out? You're saying no at 480. 480. Thank you. Lot number six is the 2006 Bugatti Veyron 16.4, ladies and gentlemen, the 13th of 252 Bugatti Veyron's uh, uh, coupes and the second US specification example produced, showing just 3,022 miles on the odometer at the time of cataloging. It's finished in silver metallic with dark blue metallic over grenadine leather, powered by an eight liter quad turbocharged 16 cylinder engine rated at 987 horsepower and capable of an astounding top speed of 253 miles per hour. It is documented by service invoices dating from 2009, the modern era's groundbreaking supercar of monumental capacity and significance, the 2006 Bugatti Veyron. Well, they really were a game changer, weren't they, in 2006 when Bugatti released the magnificent 16.4 litre Veyron. It was just, well, <laughs> it changed the landscape of hypercars. And well, as you can imagine, there's interest coming in all over the world. And interest means I can open 800, 850, 900, 950, all with me at 950,000. Any more bids? One million. Thank you, God. At one million, I have. At one million. Any more bids? I have a million at one million on the telephone now at one million. Any more? 1.1 1 .1 now, or 1.1 1 .1 left of my left at 1.1 million. 1.2 million. Thank you now at 1.2 million. At 1.2 million against you on my right at 1.2 million dollars. At 1.25. At 1.25 against you and against you at 1.2. 1.275 at 1.275 with you, Gord, at 1.275. You coming back in over on my left at 1.2, 1.3 million now at 1.3. Any more bids? 1.35 at 1.35. Any further bids at 1.35? I have with Gord at 1.35 now. Zach at 1.35 million. He's sitting down at 1.35. Any more bits? At 1.35 million dollars. At 1.35 million. Any more bits at 1.35? Are we selling the car at 1.35? Make no mistake now, ladies and gentlemen, the car is selling here in New York at $1.35 million. So at $1.35, I'll take a small one, I'll take 25 anywhere if it helps, but the car is selling here with RM Sotheby's at $1.35 million and sold. $1.35 million, 6426. Well done. Lot number seven, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2002 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring Package, an entirely one-off, unrepeatable future classic GT3 configured in close collaboration with Porsche Exclusive. The original price of this vehicle was $389,000, astounding volume of CXX option codes, bespoke tailoring, and obsessively detailed suite of unique finishes throughout, with every aspect thoughtfully considered. Presented in the outstanding color combination of paint to sample, black olive, over an elegant interior palette, highlighted by truffle brown, black extended leather trim, equipped with highly desirable options, ladies and gentlemen, including touring package, ceramic coated brakes, ceramic composite brakes rather, extended range fuel tank, front axle lift system, carbon fiber bucket seats, satin vice gold wheels, and a six speed GT Sport manual gearbox. Presented like new, ladies and gentlemen, and it indicates just 313 miles at the time of cataloging. Lot number seven. Thank you, Will. Again, it's no reserve. Telephone's coming in, and I have interest all with me as well at 180, $220,000 all with me and selling the car at 220,000. 
240 now. My book is clear at 240. 240,000. Any more bids at 200, 260,000? 260. Where's the bid? 260. 280,000. Thank you, sir. At 280,000. Any more bids now? At 280. It's here in the room at $280,000. At 280 against the internet. Here with you, sir. At 280,000. It is no reserve. It has to sell. At $280,000. Any further bids at $280,000 here? Fair warning now, at $280,000, two eight, sorry. 290, we hit keep it in 10s, I'll take 290, but we have 280. At 290, I'll take it. Or oh, I'm selling, at 280, 290 I will take. 290, thank you. 300 would be next, sir. 300 would be next, sir. Try 300. You're absolutely sure now. It's only one more bid at 290. I think you might have them on the ropes, sir. Try one more, sir. At 290. He who dares, sir. Try one more. At 290. You are going to miss it. At 290. Are you sure now? No, yeah, well, at 290. You're absolutely sure. At $290,000. We are selling. 290,000. Pete, are you bidding over there at 290? We're selling the car. You're going to try one more, sir. Is that firm? No. At 290. Three, well, hello, sir. You've been keeping your powder dry. Where have you been? At 300,000, I have. At 300,000. At 300,000. We'll keep it in tens on the internet, please. At 300,000. New bidder here. At $300,000. Any more bids now? At 300,000. At 300,000. Well, I think you were right there, sir. I think it may have worked. At 300,000, it's here in the room in New York. At 300,000, internet, I'm going to give you one last moment, but we're at 300. 310 would be next. He's saying no. At 300,000, your car. Well done. 300,000, 6016. Lot number eight is the 2015 McLaren P1. The Professor, as it's known, ladies and gentlemen, an exceptionally highly bespoke P1 unique Professor 2 blue paint finish and numerous specialty selected details, nearly $140,000 in MSO options, showing just under 2,700 miles at the time of cataloging, exceptional condition throughout, sold new through McLaren Philadelphia and accompanied by window stickers, service invoices from McLaren Philadelphia, leather folio with pen, leather zipped pouch, hardback MSO book and technical training handbook world beating performance ladies and gentlemen in a work of engineering art it is of course the mclaren p1 well thank you very much will and just isn't it magnificent uh, the height of british engineering here the mclaren p1 and well Telephones coming in with Michael, as you'd expect, and Zach. I think we've got multiple bidders, as you can imagine. And where shall we start? Got to be 1.2 million. Sorry? One million. Thank you, Greg. You've been helping me along all day. Uh, one, point one million I have. One, point one million and fifty I have. At one million and fifty. At million fifty. It's in the room. Thank you, Pete. At one million and fifty. Against the online bid. One point one. A telephone now coming in. 1.2, thank you, at 1.3, at 1.3 million. A lot of activity here, ladies and gentlemen, at 1.3 million. 1.4 million, 1.4, 1.45, at 1.45 now, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5 now, at 1.5 million. Pete, at 1.5, any more bids? I have 1.5. You've got, is that, you bid 1.55. 1.55, thank you, Greg. 1.55. Oh, 1.6 million now. At 1.6 million dollars. 1.65. 1.65. 1.7 would be next now. At 1.65 million. Any more bids at 1.65, 1.7, at 1.7 against the internet, 1.75, at 
$1.75 million. There's been three of you on it all the way. $1.8 million. At $1.8 million. Zach, try 1.825. Try him on 1.825. Offer him a small one, Zach. At 1.8 million. Any more bids at 1.8 million? It's on the telephone at 1.8 million. Sorry, on the internet, thank you. 1.8, 1.85. He's come back at 1.85 million. At 1.85 against the internet bid now. At 1.85 million dollars. 1.9 million at 1.9 million internet. Any further bids at 1.9 million? Anything over here now? 1.9 million, the car is selling all the way. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, the car is selling at 1.9 million dollars. It's all online. Michael, are you coming in? At 1.9 million. Fair warning to you all, at 1.9 million, we are selling all the way, make no mistake, at 1.9 million dollars. Are we all done? At 1.9 million dollars, internet bid and sold, 1.9 million dollars. Lot number nine is the 1954 Aston Martin DB24 Coupe, ladies and gentlemen. The only coupe of seven Bertone bodied Aston Martins built and shown at the 1957 and 1958 Turin Motor Show. Meticulous Concours restoration by Mark Specialist Kevin Kay for over $800,000, in addition to the purchase price, of course. Fully numbers matching per the factory build documents and confirmed during restoration. It's first in class in the 2023 Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance, invited to the 2024 Concorde d'Elegance of Villa d'Este and Moda Miami. An outstanding, award-winning, coach-built Aston Martin of exceptional beauty and pedigree, surely welcomed at virtually any top-level Concorde or rally event on the planet. It's lot number nine, the Aston Martin DB24 Coupe. Again, well, isn't it just wonderful, isn't it? R remarkable example here. Recent prize winner, first in class, in fact, in uh, Pebble Beach. And well, what shall we say? I have interest, as you can imagine, coming in with me at 500, 550, 600, 650, all with me at $650,000. Any more bids now? 650,000 at 650. Any further offers at 650,000? Any more now at 650? It's all with me. 700, I've taken at 700. At 700, any more now at 700,000? At 700,000. At 700, I have. 750 now at 750. Keeping your powder dry, sir, at 750 now. Any further bids? I have 750 at 750. 800, 850. At 850, any further bids at $850,000? At 850, 900, at nine, 950, at 950. There's two of you on it. You've been with me all the way at 950, far left. Thank you, sir, at $950,000. Looking like it's your car, sir, at $950,000 against you here at $950,000. On my left. At 900, one million dollars against you now. A million here selling the car against you over here. A million I have. Try 50, sir. Try 50, sir. Try 50, sir. I have a million. Fair warning here now. You're, you're saying no. You're going to miss it. Make no mistake. I have the million. You're sure now? Your last final warning, sir. You're absolutely sure you're going to miss it. The bid's here. It's at a million. We are selling here in New York at a million. Sold the car. One million dollars, six, four, two, seven. Lot number 10, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1962 Jaguar E-Type Series 1 3.8 litre Roadster. 
beautifully restored to concourse standards from 2016 to 2019 by Classic Autosports in Scotland. An all matching numbers example, retaining its factory correct cylinder head, engine block, gearbox and body. Displaying just over 54,000 miles at the time of cataloging and believed to be actual. Finished in stunning factory correct as supplied color combination of opalescent bronze over beige leather with a fawn soft top accompanied by color matched hard top. Delivered new right here to New York and owned in California from 1969 through to 2016. Well documented with JDHT certificate, previous ownership documents, service invoices, and numerous restoration photos. It's lot number 10. Thank you very much, Will, and come all the way from the UK. A great owner as well. Thank you for committing the car to our sale in New York. So thank you for coming along to support the sale as well. Telephones coming in, as you can imagine. No collection is complete without an E-Type, as we all believe. Uh, as an owner myself, I can, uh, I can tell you with confidence. And where should we start? 70,000, 70,000, 70,000. Where's the bid? 70,000, thank you. Internet bid. 70,000 is selling. It's no reserve. 70,000. 80,000. Was that 80, sir? Was that 80? Thank you. 85? 70, no, 80. We go up in tens at this level, sir. 80, 90. Take 100, sir. I have 90. I have 90. You sure? Okay, well, thank you anyway at 90,000. Selling the car, make no mistake. 90 online I have. Internet bid at 90. No, I took the bid internet. Wait, where's the bid now? Thank you. Good to see you, sir. How are you? 100,000. 100,000. So where's the bid? 110. Thank you now at 110. There's five of you on it. Where's 115? 115. 120. We take them small. They've got to be quick. We're at 115. 120. 125, sir? You sure? Well, you made, you made one. Okay, why not? At $120,000. Any more bids now? At $120,000. Looks good value at that, ladies and gentlemen. At $120,000. E-type motoring. At $120,000. Any further bids? At 120,000. It's with you, Zach. At 120. I'll take 125. 125, sir, come along. 122.5. Same courtesy to your bidder. At 122.5, we have. Try, try 125, Zach. We've got to be quick now. At 122.5, selling the car. We are selling, make no mistake, at 122,500. Are you going to bid? You need to give me an instruction. Yes or no? I'm bringing it down at 122,500. I need an instruction at 122,5. 122,500. Thank you. 6052. Well done. Lot number 11, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2015 Porsche 918 Spider, believed to be one of only four produced in paint to sample Mexico blue. Fabulous color, number 488 of a total of 918 examples built, showing 1,844 miles at the time of cataloging, manufactured on the 15th of March 2015 and sold new to the United States. Onks black uh, leather interior with acid green piping and details. Desirably equipped from the factory with carbon fiber interior package, carbon fiber mirror caps, rear wing, front axle lift system, home link, 25 foot charging cable and stone guard. Fully wrapped in protective paint film. It is lot number 11. Well, thank you, and um, well, 918 Spiders in vogue at the moment. Incredible results at the White Collection uh, last week in Houston. And well, here's another uh, wonderful example with a very rare color finish. Uh, one, the 918 Spider, as you can imagine, interest coming in. I can open the bidding at $1 million now. At $1 million. At $1 million. <laughs> Madam, was that a bid? <laughs> 1.1. Thank you. 1.1. At 1.1. That could have been a very expensive mistake, Madam. At 1.1. Any more bids? 1.2. 2 million. 1.2. Thank you. 1.3. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please. 1.5. 1.5. 
at 1.5 million now. Any more bids at 1.5 million? 1.6 million? At 1.6 million? Any more bids at 1.6 million I have? 1.7 million? 1.7 million. 1.7 million now. It's all on the telephone desks at 1.7 million dollars. At 1.7 million. Any more bids at 1.7 million? At 1.7 million I have. There's three of you on it. At 1.7 million. 1.7 now. 1.75. At 1.75 I have. At 1.75. 1775, I'll take Miss Jacqueline at 1.775. Any further bids at 1.775? Are we all done at 1.775 million? It's with you, Steph, at the moment. Is it your color, Steph? 1.775? Any further offers at 1.775? 1.8 online I have at 1.8 GD at 1.8 million dollars online bid at 1.8 million dollars now ladies and gentlemen please at 1.8 million dollars any further offers at 1.8 it's online it's online Selling the car against you, Gord. We are selling the car at 1.8 million. The car is selling at 1.8 million dollars. Are you bidding on this one, young man? At 1.8 million? Try another one. At 1.8 million dollars with the internet bidder. Fair warning to you all. 1.8 million. Gord's trying to get through. We'll take 1.825 if it helps you. But we're at 1.8 million. The car is selling at 1.8 million. Just having a discussion here on the telephones at 1.8 million dollars. The car is selling. Our internet bidder, do bear with us. Thank you. You're leading at the moment at 1.8 million. At 1.8 million dollars. At 1.8 million here the car is selling now what are we doing at 1.8 it's on the internet the car is selling at 1.8 million I can't hold it any longer at 1.8 million We've got to make the decision. We've got to do it now at $1.8 million. Good. No, at $1.8, selling to the online bidder. And thank you. And sold here in New York, $1.8 million. Lot number 12 has been withdrawn from the auction. So we move on to lot number 13, which is the 1953 Fiat 8V Supersonic. The most stunningly presented example of just 14 8V supersonics built, minimally used by just four caretakers through the course of its 70 year life. Emerging from 22 years of fastidious single owner care, virtually unknown to the collector car niche, having never been publicly seen since the 1960s, believe it or not, retains its matching numbers engine and is subject to deeply documented, comprehensive three year restoration completed by Italian craftsmen in late 2014. It's refinished in one of its original color combination of sensational blue medio metallizzato over terracotta leather by the esteemed quality cars in Italy. Deep 
uh, deeply documented with restoration invoices and over 2,500 restoration photographs, copies of the owner manual, period FIA homologation papers, and technical uh, drawings, breathtakingly restored example, ladies and gentlemen, flagship example for any motoring event of your choice. Please note that an import duty of 2.5% of the purchase price is payable on this lot if the buyer is a resident of the United States. It is lot number 13. Well, isn't it wonderful when you find them like this? You know, 22 years in current ownership, first time ever offered on the public market at any auction. So a real opportunity here. And just take a look, isn't it absolutely magnificent? The 8V Supersonic here, and I can open up, and lots of interest, as you'd expect. Global interest, a million dollars I can open. A million dollars, a million dollars, 1.1, thank you. Straight back at 1.1 million. Any more bids now at 1.1, 1.2, thank you. At 1.2, I have, but 1.2 million, thank you. <laughs> I think, is, is this going to work? It's an interesting tactic. <laughs> at $2 million, at $2 million. Any more bids at two million dollars? At two million dollars? <laughs> well, let's see, let's see if that works. I think I think I think he might uh, come back at that one, Steph. But we'll try at two million and fifty. Two point two million dollars. Thank you, GD. At two point two million dollars against you, Steph. At two point two million dollars. And fully deserved, a magnificent car at $2.2 million here in New York. At $2.2 million. Any advance, but the car is selling all the way at $2.2 million. I'll take a small one anywhere if it helps, but we're at $2.2 million. Fair warning now at $2.2 million. Michael, are you coming in there? No, at $2.2 million. And... Soul, 2.2 million. <laughs> 6406. Thank you and thank your bidder. Thank you, Steph, as well. And Will. Lot number 14 is the 2005 Ferrari Super America, believed to be one of just 33 left-hand drive examples equipped with the ultra-desirable gated six-speed manual gearbox, finished in the elegant color combination of Grigio Silverstone over natural leather interior, delivered new to Ferrari Houston, currently indicates just 3,760 miles at the time of cataloging. It's outfitted with a fantastic assortment of options, including the Fiorano handling pack, very, very crucial, that one, scooter rear fender uh, shields, custom upholstery, and Daytona style seats. It's lot number 14, the 2005 Ferrari Super America. Well, thank you, and again, showing here, isn't it magnificent, the 2005 Ferrari Super America, always popular, telephones coming in, only one of 33 left-hand drive, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a wonderful example, and I can open up, as you can imagine, at 400, 420, 450, all with me, at 450,000, all with me. Any more bids at 450, 480, thank you, at 480, there's three of you on it now, at 480, 500, thank you, at 500, at 500,000, any more bids at 500, at 500,000, 520, was that 550? 550, thank you, 550, it's taken you, uh, moved along, sir, 550,000. 580s come back at 580,000. Any more bids at 580,000? At 580,000. Any more bids at $580,000? At 580. Any more bids at $580,000? 600 online. 600 against you over here now. At 600 against you here, against you, Michael. At $600,000. At 600,000. Any more bids at 600,000? I have the internet bid against you left, against you, Michael, at 600,000. Are you coming in, Michael? Are you coming in at 600? 650. 650, why not? 650, that'll do it. At 650, you say, you're saying no over here now. At 650,000. 680 for the online bidder, Greg. At 680 would be for the online bidder, but we are at 600. And We're at 650. We're at 650. 680 would be next. We're at 650. With you and, you and I, Michael, at 650. 680, try online, but I'm selling the car at $650,000.
make no mistake, a $650,000. Fair warning now, 650000 Are we done? 650000 Greg, is he hovering? Is he hovering at 650? 680 would be next online bidder. At 650, hammers up at $650,000 in internet. Are you in or are you out? At $650,000. 650,000 dollars, 6408. Well done. And lot number 15, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1993 Bugatti EB110 Super Sport prototype. Ultra rare and hugely significant example, ladies and gentlemen, with unique factory modifications made during the model's testing and development. One of two laboratory chassis used for mechanical development, testing, and homologation. Uniquely equipped uh, with features not seen on any other EB110 prototypes, including dual fuel tanks with single fuel filler system, carbon fiber engine lid cover, and revised gear selector, retained by Bugatti as a factory test car for further perfecting the EB110 design. It displays just 3,000 uh, 528 kilometers at the time of cataloging. It's finished in Grigio Metallic over blue Scuro leather with factory blue seat belts and is documented by Bugatti vehicle te technical data sheet, original warranty and service book. And please note that upon further research, it was determined that the engine block of this vehicle or originated from Bugatti development prototype GT007, internally known as C8 and not from the C7 prototype GT006. Additionally, the car does not have a Bugatti certificate of authenticity, but is accompanied by Bugatti vehicle technical data sheet. It is lot number 15. Well, without the EB110, there's no Veyron and Chiron, and the uh, EB110 really did start the journey uh, for the Bugatti, uh, for Bugatti moving into supercars. It is the prototype. It's the where it all started, ladies and gentlemen. And what shall we say? Interest, as you can imagine, coming in with me at $1.5 million, I'm bid at 1.5, 1.5 million, 1.6 coming in here now, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.8 million against you now, Zach. I have 1.8 million. Any more bids at 1.9, at 1.9, any more now. New bidder at the far left, 2 million against you here. On my left at two million, at two million dollars. Two point one, two point one, two point two, at two point two million, at two point two million. Thank you. Two point two million. Any further bids at two point two? It's here at two point two, two point three now, two point three million, two point three, two point four million. A 2.4 million now, a 2.4. Here I have you, sir, a 2.4 million. 2.5, a 2.5 million now, 2.5 million. A 2.5, 2.6, million dollars. 2.6 million. At two point six million dollars. Two point seven million dollars. Two point seven now. Any more bids at two point seven million. At two point seven million. Internet coming in there, Greg, at two point seven million. Any more bids at two point seven? At 2.7 against you, against the internet, 2.7 million dollars. Fair warning now, at 2.7 million. 2.8 million. At 2.8 million now. At 2.8 million. You're saying no, Zach, at 2 point, you're saying now, at 2.8 million now. You've been with me all the way, at 2.8 million. At 2.8 million. 2.8 million. You're sitting down at 2.8 million. Any more bids at 2.8 million dollars? 2.2.9 million coming in here on the screen at 2.9 million. At 2.9 million now. 
You sure, Such? You're saying no, you've been with me all the way. At 2.9 million. Try, try 50, Such. Try 50. You sure now? At 2.9, I have. At 2.9 million. Against you here, against you here. At 2.9 million. 2.9 million. Thank you. And lot number 16 is the 1986 Mercedes-Benz 500 SEC AMG 6-litre wide body. Among the lowest mileage examples remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Presently indicates fewer than 4,898 kilometres at the time of cataloguing. An outstanding example of AMG's most menacing pre-merger creation, a wide-body super coupe powered by the legendary six-litre double overhead cam Hammer V8. Finished in its factory correct uh, atyp archetypal colour of combination of blue-black metallic over anthracite leather with authentic AMG aero kit. Presented in the ideal color scheme and with all desirable performance upgrades, ladies and gentlemen. Previously retained within the prominent Young Timer collection in Germany from August 2004 until September 2021. It's lot number 16, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you very much. And again, interest all with me on the wide body. These Young Timer cars really are, have moved dramatically in the last couple of years. And what should we say? Interest coming in with me at... 300, 323, 53, 80, 400, all with me at 400. Any more bids now at $400,000 at 400,000. Any more now at 400,000, 420, thank you. At 420, 450, near me at 450. 480, at 480 now. Any more bids at $480,000 at 480. Any more bids now at $480,000 at 480,000. Any further bids at 480,000? At 480,000 dollars now. At 480,000. Any more bids at 480,000? At 480,000. 500. Thank you now. At 500. Looks good value, doesn't it? At 500 now. 500 against you here. At 500. Any further offers at 500,000? At 500,000 dollars. 500, 520, at 520. Any more now, at 520. Well, at 520, I'll take a small one anywhere if it helps, but we're at 520,000. Any further offers at 520,000? Are we done? Are we sure? At 520, thank you, 520,000. Lot number 17 is the 2019 Ford GT. Presented in as new condition, ladies and gentlemen, showing only 187.1 miles on the odometer at the time of cataloging. It's finished in the stunning shade of ingot silver, and it, it features a 747 horsepower, 3.5 litre twin turbocharged V6, seven speed dual clutch transmission, exceptionally well optioned with matte finished carbon fiber exterior trim, dark energy interior upgrade package, carbon fiber wheels, red brake calipers and titanium lug nuts. A superb example of one of the rarest and most coveted American supercars ever made. It's lot number 17, the 2019 Ford GT. Thank you, Will. And what shall we say now for the Ford? Is, uh, aren't they wonderful? To 2019, this magnificent shape, the iconic brand of Ford and interest coming in with me at 600, 650, 650 now, all with me, all with me at 650. Any more bids? 650, 700. Thank you. Where's that? Pete, thank you. 700. Any more bids at 700? At 700, 750. 750 I have, at 750 I have, against you Pete, at 750, at 750, try another one, at 750 I have, it's on, on you, with you Michael, at 750,000, at 750, Pete, would you like to bid sir, would you like to bid, I'm at 750, any further bids, at 700, 760, 760,000, at 760, we're going the right direction. At 760,000, it's here in the room with you, Pete. At 760, 770,000. We'll keep it in tens for you. 
We'll keep it in tens. 780. That's 780,000. I'm selling the car. I am selling the car. Michael, I'm selling the car. That's 780,000 dollars. At 780,000 here in the room. At Sotheby's New York, at 780,000 dollars. And 780,000. Would you like 790, Michael? One second. Te telephone issues here. At 780, it's in the room with you now. At 780,000. Any further offers? At 780,000. Pete, your bidder is leading at 780. 780. Michael, you're getting, are you coming through? He's not. You're out at 780. Well, the telephone can't get through. Could have helped. I think that's helped you, sir. At $780,000, we are selling, make no mistake, at 780000 Michael, you sure? 780000 your number? 6039, well done. Lot number 18, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1994 Jaguar XJ220. The world's fastest production car of its day, besting even the Ferrari F40. Fewer than 300 examples were produced. It is presented in the lovely combination of Le Mans blue over smoke gray leather, showing just over 3,222 kilometers at the cataloging time. It's received a coveted Don Law service kit in 2022, which was installed by Curated of Miami at a cost of almost $62,000. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number 18, the 1994 Jaguar XJ220. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, only two more lots, uh, please. So do pay attention now. Do pay attention. We've only got five, ten more minutes. Uh, well, the XJ220, the XJ220, and I can open up the bidding. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen. And I can open up the bidding at $250,000. At $250,000. At $280,000. Thank you, sir. At $280,000. It looks good value, doesn't it? At $280,000. $300,000 online. Against you now. $300,000 online, sir. $300,000. $320,000. Thank you. $320,000. Internet against you. It's in the room. At $320,000. At $320,000. Against the internet. At $350,000. 350, sir. 350. Well, thank you for your bidding. At 350, at 350, it's all online. 350, 380. New bidder now coming here, nearer me. At 380. Ladies and gentlemen, please. At 380,000. At 400,000. At 400,000. 400,000. 420,000. 420,000. 420,000. Here with me. 430,000. At 450,000. At 450,000. Any more bids? 450. Against you, Michael. Against you online. At 450,000. Any further offers? 480,000. At 480,000, 480,000, 500,000, at 500 now, at $500,000, at $500,000. Any further bids, at $500,000, any more now, at 500,000. Fair warning, internet, are you coming in or are you coming out, at 500,000. Try, Greg, are you coming in? At 500,000. At $500,000. Try, f offer them 525 online, Greg. Offer them 525. We'll meet them in the middle there. At 500, I'm bid. Try 525. Internet bidder, try 525. We're at 500. Any more bids at 500,000? Greg, are they coming in? At 500,000, 
Fair warning to you all now, at 500,000, we'll give the internet bidder one more chance. At 500,000, try 25, try 25 online, but we're at 500,000. Any further bids at 500? 500, thank you. Lot number 19, ladies and gentlemen. The final lot of the evening is the 1989 Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary edition. One of the unforgettable automotive stars of the 2013 Martin Scorsese film, The Wolf of Wall Street. Who can forget those legendary scenes? One of two Countach 25th anniversary editions uh, used in the production of the film appeared alongside Leonardo DiCaprio playing high flyer uh, financier Jordan Belfort. The most advanced iteration of the legendary Countach featuring improvements developed by the great Horatio Pagani. Compelling styling, incredible specifications, 5.2 litre V12, 183 miles an hour top speed, understood, uh, understood to be one of 12 US specification examples, completed in Bianco Polo over Bianco and presented as originally delivered with US specification, front bumper and rear wing, an iconic supercar, ladies and gentlemen, that's further elevated and immortalized by its time on the silver screen. It is lot number 19. Well, the last lot of today's sale here at New, New York, Sotheby's headquarters here. And well, isn't it saving the best to last, ladies and gentlemen? It really is a wonderful opportunity here. The 25th anniversary edition, Wolf of Wall Street. Martin Scorsese, a son of New York. And what shall we say? Interest coming in at $800,000, I'm bid. At $800,000. Any further offers? 800,000. 1 million, thank you. 1 million I'm offered. At 1 million I have, actually. At 1 million now. 1 million dollars. Any further bids? At 1 million. 1.1, 1 .1, thank you now. At 1.1 1 .1 I have. At 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2 million. There's three of you on it. At 1.2 million. At 1.2. Any further bids? At 1.2 million. At 1.2. You're saying no over here. Try 50, sir. At 1.2 million. At 1.2 now. It's all on the telephones. You're saying no. At 1.2 1.3 million. 1.3 million. Wolf of Wall Street, ladies and gentlemen. Iconic Lamborghini Countach. At 1.3 million dollars. At 1.3. 1.4 now. At 1.4 million dollars. At 1.4 million. Any further bids at $1.4 million? Any further bids at $1.4 million? $1.5 million here in New York. The Wolf of Wall Street Kuntash at $1.5 against you on the phone with Gord's bid at $1.5 million. Any further offers at $1.5? I have the bid here with Gord Duff at 1.5 million. The car is selling. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, the car is selling all the way at 1.5 million dollars here with RM Sotheby's in New York at 1.5 million. I'll take a small one anywhere if it helps, but we're at 1.5 million. Fair warning, at 1.5 million dollars. Are we done? Are we sure? And we are selling at 1.5 million and sold. Thank you. 1.5 million. 6415. 6415. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for attending the sale. Um, have a wonderful Christmas, New Year. Have a wonderful break. We would love to see you all at Moda Miami. The event is coming together. It's going to be spectacular. Come to the next RM Sotheby's event in Miami. We also have Arizona, Scottsdale, and Paris. Thank you all again for coming and supporting. Enjoy your Christmas holidays. Thank you very much.